We have here a 2012 Volkswagen CC. It has a two liter TSI engine. It is a CCT letter coated engine. And approximately May of last year, uh, this vehicle had a timing chain failure and piston smacked the valves and we repaired it. And yesterday the customer was driving the car and they said the check engine light came on. They stopped They stopped at their friendly local auto parts store. They scanned it for them and they came up with a engine speed sensor trouble code. At that point the customer got a little worried so they stopped driving the car and they towed it to me. We'll start with scanning the car for trouble codes. Okay, so I did an auto scan on this CC and these are the trouble codes that we have. 00807 or P0327 knock sensor 1 signal too low. And 00833 or PO341 cam position sensor implausible signal. Okay, so this cam position sensor trouble code, I'm pretty sure the customer told me it was a crank position sensor trouble code, but it doesn't matter. Cam position sensor failing. But as of yet, I've never seen it, seen that happen on a CCT. It also can be the timing chain has jumped time. That's the implausible part of it. It's not showing a relationship in relation to the crankshaft where it's supposed to be, so they call that implausible. And I've seen that many times on these engines. And the third thing that it can be is the variable cam timing. If the computer commands a certain degree of camshaft advance or retard, then it expects to see that reaction on the cam position sensor. And if it doesn't see it, it can trigger this code right here. So um, since I drove this car in, I'm pretty sure the timing chain hasn't jumped time. Uh, it could have jumped one, one tooth. These engines are perfectly capable of jumping one tooth without piston smacking the valves. But it seemed to run okay. We'll test drive the car to see for sure. The cam position sensor can fail, obviously. And um, I, I would assume maybe a, cr a crank position sensor could cause this same trouble code. Um, it's At least it's in the realm of possibility. But the thing I want to check that we can do real quick right here in the bay is check the um, variable cam timing. There's a output test or actually it's a basic settings test that where the computer will command the variable cam timing to advance all the way and retard all the way and you can see the computer doing it. You can see the reaction on the car based on the uh, computer's interpretation of the cam position sensor. So we'll run that test real quick and I'll show you what how to do that test. Okay engine does have to be running for this test and we'll go to engine we'll go to basic settings and VAGCOM gives us this nice drop down box that says of course I'm going below the camera here camshaft adjustment intake you see that down there? Let me go back up here where it shows what's going on. And it shows us our camshaft degrees, or our camshaft adjustment in degrees of crankshaft rotation. Let me zoom in there. And then we simply click on and it says brakes full throttle 10 times and so what you do I uh, wish I could show you my foot but I'm, I'm not going to the you floor it and I'm going to floor it one time you can see the RPM goes up and then the degrees of camshaft rotation change and see it went all the way from 28 all the way to negative 32 and then it'll go back. My foot's on the floor this whole time, by the way. And once it goes all the way back, you've confirmed that the system is okay. And you can do this test 10 times in a row. So I just did it one time and I'll do it again. I let my, let my foot off the throttle, obviously. And then I floor it. 
and our RPM changes here, our degrees of camshaft, crankshaft rotation uh, start changing, go into about negative 20, 32. The engine does kind of misfire when it goes to that, that position, so it kind of shakes just a bit, and then it goes back to our standard like 27, 28 degrees. And so that's two times. I'll do it one more time just to show you. Your foot has to be on the brake while you do this. Obviously the engine has to be running and you have to put it the, thro the throttle to the floor in order to make it happen. And I think the reason they allow you to do this 10 times in a row is because if it was intermittently sticking, like the solenoid that controls the timing was intermittently sticking, or the little screen in the cam bridge is broken out and contaminated the camshaft adjuster itself and blocked it from turning and stuff. But this system is obviously working. We can see it at negative tw or at 27 degrees and see it change all the way to negative 32. and then change all the way back to 28 degrees. And of course, if there was a problem, it would trigger a trouble code during this process. I did clear the trouble codes. Uh, I didn't show you that on camera, but there are no trouble codes reoccurring. So, but if there was a problem, oh, I guess I need to show you that there. If there was a problem, it would trigger the trouble code during this process. So. I don't know what's causing this vehicle. We'll get underneath the hood and take a quick look under the hood and see if we can tell anything. Obviously doing a head to one of these cars is an awful lot of work. I'm just giving it a quick overview since it passed the timing test on the basic settings. And seeing some oil here. That's awfully fresh looking oil. I mean that is brand new and clear oil whereas most likely I I don't think that's leaking I think somebody's added oil to it and it's spilled and uh, I don't know what brand fuel filter that is it looks has no name on it A white box item probably or maybe a quick loop hmm we always use either Bosch or man or sometimes Hankst filters so this isn't the filter we put on it but I'm sure they've driven it far enough to need an oil change since we did the work but uh, obviously somebody's added some oil or maybe they just had an oil change that filter looks awfully clean maybe they just had the oil change Obviously the variable cam timing needs oil pressure to control the cam timing. So let's check the oil real quick. I don't know how well that can be seen but there is the safe zone right there and the oil level is well below the safe zone. The only thing to do at this point is to fill up the engine oil and drive it and verify nothing reoccurs. much better. Okay, after filling this Volkswagen CC with engine oil and road testing the car thoroughly, I've taken it on a couple different test drives and uh, taken it up and down the highway the trouble code hasn't reoccurred and the timing is working perfectly and the camshaft position sensor seems to be working fine 
neither the knock sensor code nor the camshaft position sensor implausible trouble code. So at this point I have to assume that it, the cam position sensor implausible trouble code was due to low engine oil. If you learned anything from this video, for instance if you learned about the basic setting test that allows you to test the camshaft's ability to advance and retard, then uh, click like and subscribe. And if you want to financially contribute to the continued production of these videos, find the donate icon on my website at www.kansascitytdi.com.